guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephanie here. If you guys are not familiar with me, go ahead and hit subscribe. You're going to want to hit subscribe because I post every Wednesday and every Friday of every week so you have constant content coming your way. Don't forget to share and like this video with your friends guys. It will help me out so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to say it again. Go ahead and hit it. Um, but for today, I do have a great video for you guys. I have a how to on your eyeliner. So for today, I will be doing a regular pot liner with a brush and then I also will be doing a liquid liner on this eye so we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you the two and also what I do when I mess up honestly guys you will find you will find it easier to find out which way works better for you Personally, for me, the pot liner with the brush has always been my go-to. That's how I accomplish my wing liner the best, but some people see it differently. Some people enjoy doing it with a liquid liner or a felt tip, whatever it is, you should explore different ways on how to do your eyeliner. If you are struggling, you definitely should go ahead and try all of the ways there is to do your eyeliner. Maybe one of them will work best for you and it will be your go-to just like it was mine with the little pot liner with a brush. That is my go-to. I always do that, but occasionally I will give myself a wing with a liquid liner. So I will be showing you guys both ways today and I will be showing you guys how I fix my mistakes when there need be. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into this tutorial. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go in with this eye first. So this eye is gonna have the pot liner. This is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Eyeliner in the black is black and it just comes like this. And then I will be using a Sephora Eyeliner 22 brush so with these usually sometimes they can get dried out and they won't work as well so what I do I just go in with this is just like any face serum but this is a collagen face serum any face serum will work just something that's kind of like oily but you don't want to go ahead and just put the drop in the eyeliner that will make it way way too um, soft and kind of wet so I just like to put a little bit on the back of my hand if you guys can see that right there and I'll just kind of dip in and then just kind of start getting that color just so it doesn't get too overly wet from the oil and then it's not gonna stay later on so with a little bit of product on the brush I like to squeeze both sides together with my finger to really get that precise brush I even like to try it out on my wrist that looked pretty good so on this side right here I usually start by doing the wing and usually that's my wing so that's my starting line and then I go from the top of that And at the same time, I shut my eye. So I can take it, drag it, and at the same time when I close my eye, I kind of start forming that line already. And there we go. After that, I just go in with a little more product. And I go ahead and fill it in. Okay, so as you can see, eyeliner is done. There is a couple things that I like to do after I do my liner. So, alrighty, so any palette that has a black in it, I always like to go in with a matte black, whatever shade you may have and whatever palette. I know you guys have a black shadow out there, so 
just grab that and then with the same brush I like to set my liner not only does this set my liner but it also mattifies and darkens up my liner so it can look a lot more covered matte and like super duper black because I love that of course we want our eyeliner to be super duper matte and black at least that's the kind of look I like to go for and it helps you cover any spots you might have missed or were kind of blotchy all right there we go another thing I like to do when sometimes that end might not be as sharp as you want it to be so obviously I just go in with some shape tape you can also do some foundation or and just anything that will help you clean up and I'm just gonna take a Morphe 432 a Morphe M432 and it's like a flat brush I use this to carve out my brows and I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer tiniest bit and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that end and that just gives you that chiseled perfect line kind of look you can go ahead and start blending it out so you don't see that line underneath your eyeliner so just right there and there you have it guys that's how i do my wing liner with my pot and brush honestly i always say explore the ways on how to do makeup when i was start first started off doing makeup and doing my eyeliner I really couldn't do a liquid liner like a standard liquid liner and when it came to doing a brush and the pot it was way easier for me it's still to this day is my favorite way to do um, a wing liner and it's just more practical for me but obviously um, some people find this better or they even find the felt tips like the markers better so it really is your preference whatever works out better for you but for me, I always went when I always went in with my pot liner, but I will be showing you guys how I do it with a liquid liner. So this is the Revlon Stay Color Stay Liquid Liner. And this is in the shade. I don't think it says, but I'm pretty sure it's just black, guys. It's just black. So, there she is, there she is, as you can see. So, I like to open it up and then I just take off any excess product that might be on the brush. Okay, so with the same thing, I'm going to be using that wing. So from the outer of the eye, and you just kind of create that line, that is going to be your map out, and then you're going to connect the dots. just connect the dots guys so that's literally how I do it I just connect both lines and then I start kind of building my base
There's the eyeliner, guys, and we're just gonna go ahead and fill it in. And do some shit. All right, there you go. As you can see, this liner came out thicker, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my M432 with a little bit of concealer. Go ahead and fix my mistakes. So I'm just gonna go right underneath. Alrighty, so for this part right here, I am just going to go in with more of a detailed brush. This is a Morphe 250-0 brush. This is perfect to go in and just fix your little mistakes. I went in with this brush with just a little bit of concealer and fixed a little bit of mistakes that I did on the top of my wing. This is what I would do on any other day if I had a mistake and I just needed to fix it real quick. This is how I would do so. I went ahead and just cleaned up that liner and there we go so that's how you do the regular side and then this is gonna be the pot side I am more of a more of a professional with the pot I'm not gonna lie but I also sometimes wing out my liner with the liquid liner and honestly, the best way is if you guys ever mess up, literally just go ahead, clean it up. If you guys do not have foundation on yet and you just barely put on your eyeliner, even easier, just grab a wet wipe and with your nail, just easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these little tips and tricks on how to do your wing liner. Guys, practice makes perfect. That's all I have to say. Also, if you guys do a little mistake, that's why we got concealer. Don't you worry. Concealer is always there to help you. So do not get frustrated. Just keep on going. You got this. I promise you. Makeup is literally what you make it, so if you keep practicing, I promise you, you will get it. I got it, and if I got it, y'all will too, I promise you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. I will see you guys back here on Wednesday for a new video. Don't forget, I post every Wednesday and every Friday of every week, so come back and join me on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. It will help me out so much. Also, don't forget to turn on that little notification bell. That will get you notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget, Wednesday and Friday, I'll be posting. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll let you guys go. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.